for those of you new to this channel and this instrument, <laughs> I'm a banker. I was a cattle rancher, got into some big business, lost everything, then decided to go after the banking system and figure it out. Was a little bit disrupt disruptive, got kicked out of places when I realized how simple it was. All deception, there's abundance, and then there's this limiting structure called government and limiting structure called the banking system that manipulates people's minds. So I got angry for a while. Then I started to say to myself, well, I'm getting kicked out of banks and tried to run for mayor of Calgary, but almost got thrown down the steps because I was kind of just being very logical. And I know I'm a little sarcastic at times and life is what it is, you know? So on my journey, okay, towards becoming closer to the divine, I gave everything up, like not on purpose, you know, like I didn't really think I was, you know, going to be walking the streets of Calgary for four or five years with really not much of anything. And, but it sure was a gift from I am to I am to get me closer to divinity and to show me that the humor that I see, you know, in this whole comedy called human life is just that, okay? Humans trying to be personally responsible or being personally responsible when the impersonal is truly in charge anyway, just trying to help us by putting us in really silly situations, sometimes tragic situations, to get us to understand this, what I'm gonna finish reading here, okay? So I could never be on LibriVox, you know, cause you pretty much have to just read and you can't say anything. Like, I know I might be blasphemous by putting in my comments. I've kind of been told that in a roundabout way that I shouldn't change the words and stuff. And I don't change the words, I just add my little twist, you know? But I'm inspired to do it. Because, I mean, these people that are writing these books are great and I've respect them and everything but they're you know educated people that have been educated in the system some of them you know even this guy that wrote this book talked about you know he wasn't saying that what he was saying at the time when he wrote that it was utter truth but he did talk about the spherical earth like spinning ball theory you know so obviously he was educated in that you know, post-secondary or, you know, grade one, where they teach you that you live on a ball, right? Anyway, that's just an example of why I don't fit in, so I have to have my own channel. And very few people invite me. I used to get invited once in a while to some alternative channels, but not anymore. So just a tiny introduction to this person, okay? Because there is a person here that's reading this wonderful book to himself. And I see there's some people chiming in and looking and reading along or listening or maybe just taking a few pointers. I don't know. So I'm going to finish up what I started here. And it's kind of cool because this is um, the seventh reading. I like the number seven. Kind of cool it's like divine so let's do the seventh reading chapter 18 union 
and then I'm going to sleep because it's Sunday night and I said I was going to finish this over the weekend and that's what I'm going to do. You, who truly wish to consecrate yourself thus to me and are willing, oh, before I finish, now that I'm inside the banking industry with love, talking to Rothschilds and royal family members and tribe of Judah, you know, Jewish bankers, I've just decided to approach them all with love. And, you know, not understanding, <laughs> because I still know that there's limitations in most of their minds. I don't know of any that have that are unlimited as I am. But it's allowed me just to be loving inside this banking industry to get where I am, which is substantial. It's freaking substantial. We're gonna do some really cool shit. Really good, cool stuff. Okay? And I know it because the divine in me has already told me. Just keep doing what you're doing, Kaiser. It's all good. And that's the key is to do what's good. You want to fight somebody. You want to get in an argument with somebody. Just surrender. Move on. Keep loving. You who truly wish to consecrate yourself thus to me and are willing to give your whole life to me, putting aside all personal ideas, hopes, and aims, in order that I may freely and fully express through you my impersonal idea. Listen carefully to these words. So do I want something for myself? No. I want humanity to be free. To know the truth of abundance in the monetary sense, in practically every sense and to move, move that truth forward. So I'm surrendered to the divine and that's what I'm doing. And I'm just having fun too, at the same time. I have led you through all your experiences of life, including this one, up to just this point. If you are now ready, really ready and willing to serve me and have learned that you of yourself can know nothing and can do nothing and that I am and what you call your intelligence and your strength and your substance are really mine, and that it is I who direct all your thoughts and both cause and enable you to do all that you do, then you can comprehend the significance of my words and are quite prepared to obey them. I have hitherto brought to you the experiences that would teach you just these things. But now, if you are ready and worthy, you shall work consciously with me, joyfully yet calmly awaiting each new experience, knowing that in each are contained marvelous expressions of my meaning, which I will make altogether clear to you and which will more and more bring you into loving, intimate union with me. Thus, all experiences will there hereafter be blessings instead of trials and tests of karmic effects of previous acts. For in each will I disclose unto you glorious visions of my reality, of your own true wonderful self, until you no longer will have any disposition to follow any of the old desires, but will seek only to know my wishes and to please me. This will manifest in many new ways in your activities, be they what be they what they may. You will care not what the task, but do whatever lies before you, knowing that is what I require. And striving always and only to please me by your impersonal part in the doing, which enables me thus speedily to accomplish my will. In your business, even you will find I am there. In fact, it is I who provide you with such business, whatever it be, not that in it you can be the success or failure of the common plotter you are, 
nor that you can pile up riches for your descendants or lose all that you have or never accumulate any. No, but through this, but that through the success or failure or lack of ambition or special ability, I may quicken your heart to a realization of me. The impersonal one seated within, inspiring and directing all these things that you do, waiting for you consciously to participate in the true success and accept the real riches I have in store for you. You will then learn that your business or labor or condition of life are but incidents or the outer vehicles I choose and use to carry you through certain experiences, which I deem best adapted to bring you to this realization and at the same time to quicken in you certain soul qualities that now but imperfectly express. If you can but know me, dwelling thus in your heart, accompanying you to your office, to your shop, to your labor, whatever it be, and will permit me to direct your business and all your ways, verily I say unto you, when you can do this, you will at once become conscious of a new power within you a power that will flow forth from you as a gentle, kindly sympathy, a true brotherliness, a loving helpfulness to all with whom you come in contact, inspiring them to higher principles of business and of life, creating in them a longing to shed a similar influence within their own circle, a power that will attract to you business, money, friends, and abundance of all things you need, a power that will connect you with the highest realms of thought, enabling you both to vision clearly, to manifest consciously all my impersonal powers and attributes every moment of your life. You will no longer feel any need to go to church or to religious meetings of any kind, or even to read the teaching of my revelations in order to find me and to worship me. Instead, you will turn within and always find me here, there. And you will be so filled with the joy of communing with and serving me and of thus worshiping me that you will care not for any other thing than just to listen to obey my voice and to feel the warmth and thrill of my tender love as it fills and surrounds you and prepares the way and softens the conditions wherever you go and whatever be your work. You, I will cause to be an uplifting and leavening influence in the community wherever I send you, drawing all men to be, to receive my blessings through you, who now are able to make your personality subservient to my holy impersonality, that they forget you and see only me and feel the quickening of my presence within their own hearts so that they go forth with new light in their eyes and the sense of a new purpose in their lives. I, I don't know about you, but I can imagine that in the banking industry. I just imagine all these bankers, all these people that have all these secrets, all of this abundance in their accounts of these wealthy elite people that I work with. Can you imagine this happening in there? I can. And I'm freaking all doing it because it's fun. In your homes particularly will I dwell. Through these, through those nearest you will I teach you many wonderful things which now you can understand. When before you passionately rebelled against their truth, through husband, wife, child, brother, sister, parent, now I will be, I will, will I now be able to develop in you the great qualities, patience, gentleness, forbearance, tongue control, loving kindness, true unselfishness, and an understanding heart. For I will cause you to see that I am deep down in their hearts as I am in yours. Now will you be able to appreciate this and profit by it, 
When you truly do comprehend this great truth, you will be able to see me in your brother or in your wife or your parent or your child appealing to you with loving, joyful eyes when they speak. Instead of blaming them for their seeming mistakes, you will turn within to me, the impersonal one, who will speak through you gentle words of loving kindness, which will immediately soften the heart of the other and bring you once more together and closer than ever before. Well, I sure hope so. <laughs> for I, the real I, in the heart of each man am one and always respond when thus called upon. Yes, if you can but know it, your greatest school and your greatest teacher is in your own home by your own fireside. Much, very much is reserved for those who consciously know this and permit me, the impersonal one within, to do the teaching. For I will not only teach you many things through the mouths of those nearest you, but I will teach those others similarly through you. But with this difference, if you are conscious of me, and impersonally are resting in me and my wisdom, then you will permit me to inspire your words and to empower your acts, and you will not be concerned with their effects upon others or upon yourself, putting all responsibility upon me. When you can do this, you will marvel at the changes you see taking place, both in your personality and in the personalities of the dear ones, your dear ones until you are able to see back of their human personalities, me, your own impersonal self, shining from out of their eyes. When you can thus see me, then will the heavens be opened unto you, and no more will you see flaws in your brother, or hear in harmony around him, around you, or feel unkindness coming from any other fellow being. For you will know that I, the impersonal one, within that other, am the fount of all perfection, of all harmony, of all loving kindness, and wait but for the human personality to make the recognition, step submissively aside, and let my light shine forth, resplendent in all the glory of my divine idea. Then will you see that all conditions in which I put you are the places I have chosen where you can best serve me. That in all places and in all conditions, there is much, very much to do. The more objectionable, objectionable they are to the personality, the more need there is of my loving presence. Wherever you are, when this awakening comes, whatever you've been training, in business, in a profession, in manual labor. Wait a minute, my battery was going low again. In business, in a profession, in manual labor, in the church or in the underworld, there lies perhaps your best opportunity to serve. For there you know best the manner and the way. For how can my and your other selves awaken to a knowledge of my presence within, without the quickening influence, which must first come from without. You who have received must give. You who have quickened must become the quickener. You must take into your business, into this profession, into this labor, into this underworld, my living presence. Must open the doors of the saddened and sickened heart and let my light and my healing love or in. You must supply the heaven that will leave in the lump. If these conditions are to be lifted up, you, my awakened one, must carry to these, my ignorant and betrayed ones, my inspiration, my blessings, my strength, that they can rise up and throw off the influence of the world's ways, can hearken to my voice within, and can hereafter be the master of surrounding conditions and no longer the slave. No condition in life can be lifted up or conquered by running away from it. The divine touch is needed and must be supplied 
It can only be supplied by one who has sounded the depths as well as reached the height of human experience with me as guide and interpreter. You who read and whose soul comprehends are blessed and your work lies before you. But you who still hesitate while your personality quakes in fear as the light filters through your clouded intellect, you too will soon partake of my blessings for I am rapidly preparing you for the joy that awaits. Both you who comprehend and you who fear know that I am even now manifesting my will through you. And the time will surely come when you will know no other will but mine and want all things you will will come to pass and you will awaken fully from your dream of separation and know me as your real and only self. This will not be until you have given yourself and everything in your life wholly over to me and there is nothing left in your human personality to attract from others the slightest inharmonious thought or feeling by act or word of yours. Your way then will be one continuous round of blessing. Wherever you go will my light shine and my love radiate forth about you, creating peace, concord, unity. The great thing will be, though not great, but natural when once you understand that want everyone will be better and happier by reason of your appearance in their lives. For the I am in them, while still in the flesh, has found or sensed within you a truly impersonal avenue of expression, and therefore feels, though not consciously by the personality, the glory and the holiness of my impersonal life. And this is where it all started and now I'll end it again. The impersonal life. To you who read, I speak. To you who have been seeking for truth, happiness, freedom. To you I come. I am you, that part of you who is and knows. Who knows all things and always knew and always was. Yes, I am you yourself. That part of you who says I am and is I am. For I am your real teacher and the only master, I, your divine self. Yes, I am come to you now to make you conscious of my presence. I have prepared your human mind so that it can comprehend the meaning of me. I have been with you always, but you did not know it. Now the time has come for you consciously to know me. Be still and know. I am God. And I end every one of my videos the same. With peace, harmony, love, abundance, and freedom for everyone and everything every day on my mind. Abundance, already help, love, and euphoria. I love you. I love you. I love you.